Hey, it's Vana, and welcome back to Far Harbor for Fallout 4. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, we entered the abyss of the Children of Adam's stronghold called the Nucleus. And in this abyss is actually a terminal that I did not see the last time we were here. Uh, is there one on the other side? There's not. Okay. Here we have Captain Wabash's terminal, which has an advanced password on it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy for a master hacker such as myself. That's it. As you can see, log in Wabash Arnold or Arnold Wabash, uh, Captain. And we've heard his name before on a separate terminal. Subject VR system. Alright, I'm not going to read these because I'm going to assume that they are mostly backstory. You guys can pause the video if you would like to. There we go. We also have reservations noted. And we have containment leak. We have message deleted. Going to assume we're not going to be able to get anything from this. That is correct. And we have, where are you? It's not really that long. I uh, kind of wish that I read this, all of this stuff. I will read it off camera. But then again, terminals and dialogue take up far too much of these uh, Fallout 4 Let's Plays anyways. But there we go. So in the last episode, we headed to this terminal right here. And once we enter it, we'll jump inside of a simulation. It's very, very, very odd. But we have to do it. Uh, also, before we jump back into here, I will tell you guys that, yes, I will be going to get Nick Valentine. I thought he would meet you here automatically. That's why I didn't add him as a companion. Um, I totally forgot he's at Sanctuary. I thought that he was missing along with the girl we had to find him in Far Harbor. No, he's back at Sanctuary. So once we get out of this quest, I will head back to Sanctuary and pick up Nick Valentine. Apparently, there's some interesting interactions with uh, Dima and him, although I don't know what those interactions are. All right, so let's jump back into this memory where, if you remember, we had a whole bunch of weird stuff, including little bugs walking on the ground, uh, blocks that we could move. Well, we'll see. And we've also got a workshop menu. Okay, so let's see if our bridges are still made. They are. Now, we needed to create some... Okay, we didn't need to do that. Uh, let's actually take a look at our quest. We cannot, actually. Okay, but what we need to do is go into here and build some turrets. Um, I guess we want those... Let's, let's, let's put this one right here. Oh, I did not mean to, to turn it like that. I didn't want it to... Uh, oh, it looks like it's omnidirectional anyways. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, so... Uh, it says that we need some black ice... But we have no black eyes, so I guess it's just letting me build this for free now. Um, but they need to take out these red things, obviously, because we're trying to protect our little bugs here. Yes! Kill the red spheres of death! Very nice. Okay, so, so far this is not difficult. Um, just a heads up, if in a video game they ever create such a complex... If they ever create such an, uh, a complex... Um, game mechanic like this, there was volume playing out of my speakers. Usually I mute them. That's why I pause there for a second. Yeah, if they ever create uh, complex game mechanics like this, it's going to continue. This is not going to be the only level here. And it looks like we have no limit. Ah, uh, we've reached our limit. Use, use to defend your indexers against enemy sentry intrusion countermeasures. Right, I understand. We can't build any more. One more to go. Okay, so are you going to be the little bug that does it? No? Is there one that's not moving? Detected. Verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream where this memory was stored. Memory file identification. 0 v 9 Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Far Harbor. Several of my people have been assaulted, spat at, interrogated for no reason. This is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. It'll double as a place to bury the evidence. 
Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the VIM. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded. Uncover Dima's secret medical facility. Okay. A lot of stuff is happening, man. A lot of stuff is happening. It's hard to keep track of everything, even with my new sort of passive commentary style. Alright, what do we have here? Obviously, we need to destroy that red wall. Uh, we need a little laser beam to cut through here, hit this one, and then we will be good to go. But, there is no laser currently. So, we can jump, right? Yes, we can actually jump really high for some reason. There's a turbine there, but it's not activated. Let's see if we can build anything new. We can build a code block, but we can't actually. Uh, we can build some defense constructs. Oh, so you just get five, but you don't actually have to build them with any components. Interesting. And we have a decoder relay, which we cannot build just yet. So it looks like the green thing is heading over to this little uh, laser emitter, but it's not actually working. So what are we needing to do here oh there we go i did not see you down here my bad okay so it's emitting from that and it's oh this is just blocking it okay well there you go be free green light that should work now right it should be uh should be extending all the way to where we just were correct yes looks like that's the case wonderful Okay, so the red wall should be gone. The bugs are free to move. I don't think there's an issue if they die. I think they just keep respawning. Alright, so now we need to... Let's see, where is that? Looks like it's this block right here, which we cannot move. Okay, can't move that either. I believe there was... Yes, this one right here. Okay, so we need to rotate this. This is oddly similar to Portal, by the way, if you guys have played Portal 2. Uh, very similar. Alright, looks like we need one more block to place uh, in back of this one. So let's place that there. And grab one of these. Put this there. And hopefully this should work, right? There we go. Okay. Luckily, with my new relaxed commentary style, I, I think if I was just... Oh my god, so there's bugs here, and there's blocks all over the place, and then this is happening. What's going on? This is crazy. Non-stop talking. Non-stop talking. Um, luckily, with this type of commentary style, I'm pretty sure we're solving this at a much faster rate than I normally would. Okay, so let's put that there. Need to make a bridge, much like uh, an Undertale with a lo uh, little lotus flowers, although that's hardly a revolutionary game concept, isn't it? Okay, let's put this there um, we also have some red guys over here so i'm going to go ahead and proactively place some of these turrets Beginning down here okay and let's place one here and there all right let's get out of that grab this code block i think we are one or two off of creating a full bridge looks like one or two now okay there you go and yes one more will do the trick these turrets do not stand a chance. Well, the turrets stand a chance. The little red uh, evil spheres of do not stand a chance whatsoever. All right, little bugs. Go grab all of that delicious data. It's right over here, bugs. You can do it. I believe in you. I've placed these turrets. Trust in me. I have protected you with these turrets. They will do no harm. The turrets will do harm, but to the red things. The red Century things will do no harm to you. Erasure of intrusive indexer. Okay, there you go, guys. Good job. Where are your brothers at? What are you doing back there, Billy? I know you were always the slowest one, but come on now. Come on, Billy. There you go. Do they have to actually make it all the way back? Oh, boy. Oh, what just happened to to, to Jimmy? That's not good. All right, um, looks like they actually do have to make it all the way back, which is really, really, really unfortunate because this is going to take far longer than I thought it was has going to. Intrusive program. Um, so let's see. Everything should be good. Data block retrieved. Progress. Yeah, actually, it doesn't look like they do have to wait, uh, make it all the way back, so I'm not sure what's going Or are they? It's really confusing, honestly. Sentry but yeah, it looks like... Um, of intrusive indexer. It looks like once they grab the data, they are much faster. So we have one more uh, turret that we can place. I don't think these bugs are doing uh, too bad here. I think um, 
Four turrets are fine, but we will place the last one. Why not, right? Okay, so I think five bugs have to grab... Sentry initiating erasure of intrusive index. Oh crap, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of some turrets being back here. So, we're gonna have to grab one, maybe two of these guys. I figured they give you five. You definitely don't even need four for Sentry that other section. Erasure of intrusive indexer. I understand, robotic voice. You don't have to tell me every time. It's okay. So we just need one more bug to make it. Uh, we'll go grab another turret. Hopefully that little guy can do it. But we've got some backups. Luckily it's not so... Luckily it's not so tough that you just only have a certain amount of lives. I guess you could still. I, I don't really know how exactly this thing works, but... Memory retrieval at 100%. Wonderful. Verifying. Looks good. You can now use the data stream as an access point to the next memory. I said originally that I didn't really like this, but I'm coming around to it. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I'm offloading this memory. I cannot bear lying to Confessor Martin and his children of Adam any longer. Better to just forget. I found it. The location of the launch key to fire the nuclear missile inside the submarine. Confessor Martin believes it can bring his people into division. Destruction at the hands of an atomic blast. He struggles with how literal his interpretation of that precept should be. I can't risk him deciding to find the key and use it. His people were the first to accept me for what I am. The thought of them being gone fills me with nothing but pain. Additional data appended. Location, the Harbor Grand Hotel safe room. Key code, 485130. Okay, I really wish I could comprehend all of these audio logs to the best of my ability. But I can't, because I know when it comes to puzzles like this sort of situation that we found ourselves in, we have to move fast, or else the entire episode is going to be trying to figure it out. Of course I can cut, but I don't want to cut. I want to figure this out in real time, so you guys can see. From what I understand, though, Dima is, um... Contemplating firing nuclear missiles and destroying the people of Far Harbor? Is that what went on? I'll definitely figure out when I edit this video. Uh, but right now, it's, it's hard keeping track of, like I said, everything that's going on. But so far, we found a little hidden array. So I think the first thing that we want to do is uh, grab this one and place it somewhere else. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Grab this block right here, place it on this. Grab this one and turn it this way. No, not that way, this way. No, not that way. Over here to the red blocks. This is so weird, basically. Okay, that worked, wonderful. All right, we've gotten another one of these, um, what are they called? Decoder relays. Oh, was that something we could create? Oh, we can actually create one, but not in these first three levels, it looks like. We still only have access to the uh, turrets. All right, so now we just need to turn this around, and that should destroy that one, right? No? Do we actually have to hit that block up there? I thought it was if you hit any particular spot. Okay, I guess that's wrong. Okay, well, let's move this block, let's move this block, and let's turn this baby around once more. That should hit that receptor right there, right? No. Hmm. Okay, that should be easy, actually. We just need to move these over here, right? I wonder how many of these puzzles there are going to be, because they still haven't introduced the mechanic of... Um... Yeah, it looks like you do have to hit a receptor. They still haven't introduced the mechanic of using the... Or constructing the normal blocks in the, the decoder relays or whatever they're called. Okay, so now we just need to create some passageways. We've got a bunch of blocks over here. Looks like it's best to just make one walkway. I don't know why you would need to... Maybe it speeds things up if you can create a full passageway multiple blocks wide. But uh, I think we're doing okay here so far. Just creating one lengthy bridge. Looks like we need one more block. Who wants to volunteer? Oh, we've got a ton of them over here. Okay, in you go. The bugs are now free to move. No doubt, 
some of these red things are going to be attacking us soon, but it looks like we've got one more red wall to destroy. So if we send that thing all the way over here, I am not seeing... Okay, looks like we have to hit a relay, right? So where is the block that we have to hit? All the way up there, interesting. Looks like we have to climb, I would imagine. Also, I don't think I've mentioned that you are able to jump higher in this uh, simulation. I'm pretty sure you guys have realized that by now, but uh, it's sort of interesting. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to climb. Nope, nope, nope. Don't build turrets just yet. We need to place a couple of blocks here and put another uh, relay there. But yeah, if you've played Portal 2, very similar concept in a lot of the puzzles. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll see you guys when I'm done. Alright guys, so I actually fell to my death. A couple of things. Uh, it saves your progress. It saved your- it saved my progress to the block, literally. I placed that second block up there, and then I jumped down here and fell into the abyss. And, uh, it exited the simulation, because I accidentally hit exit. And, uh, just FYI, it looks like there's five. There's five, because when I went back into the terminal, uh, it said that we got the first one, got the second one, and we were on the third, which is what we are, and then there's two remaining. So, yeah, it looks like we've got this one, and then two more of these little puzzles to complete. Um, and I, as I've been saying also, I've come around to these. I actually like these puzzles. They're interesting. I will say they're easy. It's, if I'm able to do these while doing uh, Let's Play and while commentary, uh, commentating, um, yeah, they're, they're pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, but it's okay. It's an interesting concept, and I actually do like it. Um, it's weird that it tells me that I can build m multiple things. It will probably be able to in the next one or in the last one. All right, so we've definitely got a couple of these guys here. Um, once we start building the blocks, they're going to attack my little bugs. So we'll place a turret right there. We'll place a turret over here. Um, erasure protocol against unauthorized indexer. Okay, we'll place one there. It looks like they can't actually be destroyed. And I'm going to save the last two because I guarantee... Okay, there's one right here, too. So I'm going to place one there. And it looks like, honestly, as long as you have uh, a certain length of the area Sentry protected, detected active intrusive program. They, um, they will always grab you all of the data. Okay, so bugs, let's just make a path straight up the middle. Looks like we don't have any blocks here, so we have to keep going back and grabbing more. I'll do that, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I realize people have probably already commented. I didn't realize this Century the entire time. It's just one of those things that escapes you. Uh, you can store the blocks, so you don't have to go one by one and pick them all up. So yeah, if you hover over one of these and press store, you can store them. I did not realize that. Yes, that's dumb. Yes, I get it. Please don't give me too much shit. It happens. Especially me. Especially with me. Being new to this style of commentary. And just... Like, God, it would have, trust me, it would have been much worse if I had been in the old style. Um, so yeah, that's why we can see these in the workshop menu. I understand, guys. I understand. I can already see the comments now. It's okay, though. It's alright. We've done it. And look at that. We can even, we can even, uh, fill it up more. What are you doing, turrets? You're just letting them get destroyed. Okay, guys. Go ahead and grab all of that data. Alright guys, looks like this is gonna do it. That little bug is gonna be the last. Beginning okay. attrition of intrusive program. Okay, we've got two more left to go. Available to access the next memory. We'll hear a next section of Dima's memory. I think I'll be quiet for or I'll just listen to this one. Zero H dash three X zero P. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. I've made a contingency plan in case Far Harbor discovers the truth, or gives in to their xenophobia despite all my efforts. I've isolated the wind turbine powering Far Harbor's fog condensers. A kill switch command will leave them defenseless from the fog and its creatures. But now that it's done, am I really capable of this? This massacre that I've engineered? I'm going to remove the command code from my memories. I'll bury a hard copy if I need to use it. But I can't keep it close to me. It makes me sick. Additional location data appended. Coordinates to the kill switch command code and the wind farm maintenance building. Okay, guys. So, 
Just like I expected, looks like we'll be able to wipe out whoever we want. There's a kill command for the turbines that are powering the fog inhibitors, meaning that if we turn that off, the fog will cover Far Harbor and destroy them all. Um, probably not work what we're going to be doing, to be honest. Uh, regardless, we're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. We could probably exit now, but of course we're going to complete these last two puzzles. And I'll see you guys there. Bye-bye.